Board of Education. Can I get a roll call, please? Yes, Deb Brady. Present. John Chartier. Yes. Mary Ann Dwyer. Yes. Bob Eisminger is absent with notice. Lisa Gavaluna. Here. Kevin McClellan. Here. Diane Salter in here. Dr. Outlaw. Here. Jan Meek. Here. Christy Spann. Here. Mackenzie Parsons. Here. Olivia Young. All right, can everybody please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, this evening we have our school showcase, which is Harvey Swanson Elementary. Hello? The floor is yours. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, um, my name is Bob Larson. I work with uh, instructional technology at our elementary buildings. Um, I'm here to help out Phil Renner tonight. Uh, he is at parent-teacher conferences. So we're going to give kind of the next best thing. We're going to Skype him here live. Um, so I'm going to go set that up really quickly right here. You know, anyway. <laughs> Good evening, Brandon Board of Education, community members, and staff members. It's me, Bill Redder, and I'm the principal of Harvey Swanson Elementary. I'm supposed to be there right now, but I felt as if, well, I can't. And here's the reason why. I have a good excuse, and that's because we're having conferences here at Harvey Swanson. I felt like my teachers needed me here, along with the families, in case they had questions that I could help support them. So I thought what the next best thing would be to do it via Skype. And so that's what we're doing today. And I thought, well, since we're talking about communication, why don't I just share with you just a little bit of the communicating ways that we use here. And so first I want to start with the webpage. The webpage is run by Eric Lott and the webmaster, but also updated by our building secretary, Sharon Oliver. And thanks to them, our building is running smoothly. Parents are able to connect and see exactly what's coming up, such as Kindergarten Roundup that we just celebrated. Or right now we have our uh, Scholastic Book Fair. And thanks to them, their parents know what to expect and what's coming up. If you need some help with figuring out how to get connected with our PTO group, our help group, all you have to do is go to our building webpage and click the button. It'll take you right there to their Facebook page. So uh, communicating ways are easy, especially if you have great people helping and making a webpage for us. But for me, uh, it's not just about having the Ortonville or the Brandon community. I want to go larger. And as the lead leader of Harvey Swanson, I want to really pretend as if Harvey Swanson has glass walls. I want people to see inside, and I want people to see outside. And I want to share everything that I can that's happening here with the world. And so we've joined Twitter. And Twitter is basically an online platform where I have 140 characters where I'm able to say about anything that we're doing here. So I go around and I take pictures of student work, and I celebrate their accomplishments. I walk through the classrooms and I see teachers doing great stuff. Well, I want to tell the world. Why? Because I want to be their biggest cheerleader. And so that's what we've done. Another way to communicate. Uh, another way that we uh, use communication is through our weekly newsletters. And the weekly newsletters the parents can receive are just weekly and I send them out each day or each week at the same time. And what I like to do is have some hot links on there. And the links are able to have a, a calendar where the parents can plan for the events that are coming. Maybe it's to talk about something that's coming up, or maybe even a short video from NWEA since our testing window is open. For me, it's about communication. It's about having the parents know and understand when it's coming and why it's coming. For me, it's about getting them connected and having them stay connected. Another great thing that we've done here is that we have this school-wide theme called You Matter. And basically, it's about finding things and naming it specifically on what people are doing that really matter most. So here's a couple for instances. I have Tina Olson, a great first grade teacher, who has opened up her classroom willingly to another set of teachers from another district who was curious about the Bridges program. They wanted to see it in action, and Tina opened her arms and said, come on in, and I wanted to celebrate that. So I filled out a little slip, and I filled it out and put it up on the board so that everyone could celebrate. But it's not just teachers. We have also Denise Daniels, one of the world's best custodians. What she does is keep this building looking spick and span. It looks fantastic. I've heard more and more that people say it looks better than it ever has. 
And I think that's because of Denise's eye to detail. And so I will celebrate that with her being very specific. Or perhaps it's Caitlin Talon, our school psychologist. You know, she's able to diffuse a situation very, very quickly, whether that's with parents or with students. So why wouldn't I want to tell the world about that? So the next time you're at Harvey Swanson, you walk through the doors, you're going to see a giant bulletin board where it says, you matter across the top. There's a slip. Take one out. Fill it out. Bring it to the office. We'll put it up there for you. We want to tell people exactly what they've done and how they've made a difference in our lives. Now, there's a lot of other things that we're doing here. It's great. But there's one thing that really takes the cake. And the one thing that we're doing is simply... Uh-oh. 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 It's breaking up. I'm sorry. Excuse me just a second. Let me fix this. Right now, what I was really trying to say is that the best kind of communication is real and is live. So I wanted to just share with you just a few more things. Thanks, Mr. Uh, just a few more things that we're doing at Harvey Swanson. One is this high five club, and basically it's just uh, relatively simple. I stand outside and I greet everyone that they come in, the parents, uh, the children. And, and I thought to myself, I wonder how many high fives I receive in a day. And so I just started counting. And wouldn't you know it, I stand here in front of you as one proud principal, uh, is I'm able to celebrate 329 high fives in one morning. And I think that's pretty great. Um, and I think that's a world record, at least for Harvey Swanson. So we're going to celebrate that. Um, and one thing that I really didn't even realize was coming from this was simply, I didn't, I didn't know the, the, just the effect that it would have. Parents have shared with me how much they look forward to coming in as the kids come in as there's infants and, and children and, and just coming, giving me high fives, trying to get that number out. And then it dawned on me that perhaps I'm the only six foot one, 100 and never mind the rest of that, <laughs> man who, who's able to offer a hand of generosity, of kindness, of gentleness, and is non-judgmental. And so for me, it was a, it's a big communication part, and um, it's just the, to the simplest effect, I just offer that hand. There's other things that we are doing. We are having conferences tonight, I promise. Uh, I was there, and I came back here. Um, and so in the fall, we had conferences, and it went well. The teachers came up with a plan, and the plan was how are they going to help the students in their classroom? But then they shared that plan with the families, and the families and the teacher got together and said this plan is going to work, and they both supported that. Well, they supported it because they were a team. And so that's where the plan came from. And at the fall conferences, we had about 92 93% parent participation, which is great. But as a firstborn and as a perfectionist, um, I like 100%. And so I'm looking for and hoping for that uh, today and Wednesday we have 100% parent participation. Where we can see that those goals of the baseline that we made would really come to fruition. And if not, what adjustments can we make? Because we still have school. We're still here. And so there's still some learning to be done. And the final thing that I'll share with you today is how I do my morning announcements. They're nothing big. It's not an Oscar-winning performance. But we talk about important things to, well, at least our population. We talk about the weather, we talk about if there's indoor or outdoor recess, that's the big one. Um, but we also talk about a, a tagline at the very end. And the tagline at the very end is just something I came up with and I had no idea the power that was behind it. But for me, the morning announcements was one more way to show communication of, well, just give them one more jolt of encouragement and passion um, from this guy who holds the title of principal. And so my, I'll finish it, uh, this presentation with the way that I finish my morning announcements and it goes a little something like this. It's, well, Hawks, it's me, Mr. Renner, and I want you to know that one final thought. If no one told you today just how awesome and how amazing you are, well, know this. I think so, and I always will. So, Brandon, Board of Education, I thank you for your guidance. I thank you for your support and your leadership, and I appreciate you giving me this opportunity to shine, uh, to spotlight the Brandon's best elementary, no offense to Oakwood. <laughs> so, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Lyon. Very well done. Thank you very much. How are the conferences going, by the way? They're going well. They're going very well. Uh, I was there, really. Uh, they are. A lot of, lot of parents are there, a lot of smiles. A lot of people are coming in. And we, have, uh, we have some PTO things going. We have quarter wars going on, which classes are trying to raise money to, for our PTO group. We also have some baskets that we're raffling each uh, classroom. Came up with a theme. And so that theme, the parents brought things in to raffle off, and all the proceeds will go to our help group as well. So um, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Thank you very much. All righty. VHS student report, Mackenzie and Oli. Thank you.
<laughs> Hello everyone, I hope your past month has been great. Starting off with sports, winter sports are officially over and many individuals and team had a great many individuals and teams had a great season. Starting off with Jack Olson, Jack placed eighth at states for wrestling and earned an all state. Uh, Mitchell Mahan was also an individual that went to states, but he went for dive. Um, and he also played, he placed ninth at states. And for teams, boys basketball had a great season, but lost to Linden in their first district game. <coughs> and girls basketball also moved on to district, but lost in their second game to Fenton. Um, overall, we had a, we had great teams and individuals for the winter sport, but now we have the spring sports starting up. And there's a soccer game starting, actually, it, soccer's already started, at, and it's on, there's a home game on Monday. JV's at four and varsity's at six. And there's, baseball's actually already started, and their game this week is on Wednesday, at home at four. And then we actually, well, this is the second year for, for girls lacrosse, and we actually just got a boys lacrosse team this year. So that's really exciting. And the, and the girls lacrosse game is starting up. First game is on April 11th. So, and I'll have more reports with you guys as the season, season progresses. So now switching over to Link Crew, they're busy helping not only the high school, but the middle school too. Link Crew is helping take, a, is helping plan and take a part of fifth and sixth grade orientation at the middle school on May 5th with, with Mr. Tucker and his lovely staff. Link Crew students are also going into freshman classrooms to help tutor students and teach life lessons that can apply not only to life, but school too. Uh, next in Stuco, our goal for the blood drive this spring was 45 donors. We had 54 people signed in, uh, 48 pints success successfully donated, and 22 people giving for the first time. We also just finished up a pizza kit fundraiser. We sold about 170 pizza kits, and we received five to six dollars for each kit. Um, this money is going towards our spirit trip to Cedar Point on May 20th. Uh, Stupa is also having a last minute spirit week, April 17th through the 21st, for students to participate as much as possible and get as many points as they can. Um, the days are PJ Day, Michigan versus MSU Day, Twin Day, College Day, and then Brandon Blue and White Day. Our spring lip sync battle is this Thursday in the PAC at 6 p.m. No, I'm just kidding. We were going to fix that, but <laughs> <laughs> The annual Star Awards for the seniors is April 28th in the PS PAC as well. Um, prom tickets actually went on sale today. Prom's on May 12th, and the theme is Great Gatsby. Um, the musical Obsession took place this past weekend. They had three shows, um, one Friday night, one Saturday, and one Sunday afternoon. I went on Friday night to support one of my friends and the whole crew. Um, and was blown away with the talent and the props the student had and they had created with the props. They also performed for the middle school students during the school day on Friday and overall they put on a really great show. Thank you. Any questions for us? Just curious, where do they play lacrosse? Um, well, we practice so we switch on and off at schools because we're with Holly, so it's a conjoint, it's a conjoint team Brandon and Holly. So, we practice here at the middle school, so it was just in the gym from so. And then- So the so games are inside then? No, the, no. the games will be outside once the weather gets a little nicer, because okay. it's been snowing and stuff. Okay. So we've been practicing inside, but the games will be at Harvey Swanson. If they're here, um, most likely, if they're here, we'll have them at Harvey Swanson. And then if they're at Holly, they'll be on like their field. But it'll be back on the, they call it the soccer with the PG soccer field? Was it a soccer field by the- Fantasy Castle, is that what you mean, Harvey? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I heard your roster grew for the girls lacrosse team. Yeah, we actually have a lot more. We have like about 21, 22, and that's big because like last year we only had like 16, I think. So yeah. Any other questions for them? All right, thank you. Good job. Okay, any public comments or questions on our agenda business this evening? Hearing and seeing none, we approve our consent agenda. Do we have a motion? Move that the Brandon Board of Education approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. Okay. All those in 
favor of our second agenda, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? Okay, second agenda passes. Uh, next up is finance report, Jan. Yes, yeah. hi, I have um, just three quick items tonight. I wanted to let you know that we did get approval for our Category 2 funding. That's good news. I know last month we voted on the, um, the uh, project to extend our bandwidth. So we'll be getting 70% uh, of that uh, funded. That's good news. Um, also, the fire alarm new system is finally completed. <coughs> we know that, but we finally um, got approval from the state fire marshal, so therefore the number is no longer uh, in the building on the clock. Um, and last, I wanted to update you. This has to do with our moving our, our building reconfiguration. <laughs> I have two meetings set for the end of this week with two companies that, um, they're auction companies. Uh, other districts around the state have used them in fact, quite a few districts use them when they have excess furniture, equipment, those types of things to dispose of. Uh, so we'll be meeting with the, the operations team, and uh, I'm not sure if that's joining us or not, but uh, John's back from vacation. And uh, so we've got, uh, we're looking into that, that option as one way to um, dispose of uh, several items in the district that we haven't needed for a while. So just want to keep you informed on that. Dan, have you kind of totaled up the whole cost for that fire alarm system issue, considering, you know, we had to pay for the fire alarm repair, but all the, de you know, the yeah. number of time, et cetera? I was thinking of that, you might ask that as I was sitting here. I, I, I could get the exact number, but I would have to say we're in the 140 range with the Denver security around the clock. That basically started in October, so, and then, of course, the actual project, we had to, um, we had an issue you know, last month with the project that we had to um, add a little bit of cost to the yeah. project. So, yeah, it was uh, it was a hit. So, very unexpected. Did I get you the exact number? Thank you. And what budget does that come out of? This general project. We would have the option of, you know, to take it out of that capital project fund that we do have right now. The um, sell of our uh, Oakwood property put that into a new project, a uh, uh, capital projects fund, but uh, that, that would be an option. I think I brought that up before, but right now we've taken out a jump. Any questions for Jim? All right. Ms. Spann, you're, you're up next for education. Okay. So last month, you recently approved the addition of two new electives to the high school sports statistics and anatomy and physiology. So this month, maybe last month, I was going to come back to the request uh, for this, the text that we're going to recommend for those two different classes. I have the two for the sports uh, statistics with me. The stack of three books for A and P are not here. I'm going to get them back from the file of the teachers, which is just as well. They're heavy and they're you know, massive. So, right. um, so the, we start with sports statistics. Jamie Logan is the high school teacher who will be teaching this class. Jamie and I both evaluated um, a couple of different texts, analytic methods in sports, and statistical reasoning in sports. Uh, as you know, the board has guidelines for text adoption, textbook adoption, considering the content, the um, accuracy, the readability, the uh, resources that are available for the teachers, the durability of the book, and so forth. And in looking at both of these books, clearly uh, the statistical reasoning in sports was the better book. I get it's heavier, I get that it's bigger, I get that it's a little bit more expensive, but it is far superior um, to this other one. This is written by a team of people who have experience both at the high school level as well as the collegiate level. And this book is written very intentionally with high school kids in mind. A lot of statistics books, um, take a very linear approach to teaching statistics. This one starts with an overarching question uh, that would have some interest for students, and then they use the entire chapter to teach the statistical concepts uh, necessary to answer that particular question. So they're not just a series of concepts that you have to learn for tests. You're learning the concepts that are necessary to answer questions. For example, is there a home field advantage in the NFL? And then chapter two is laid out, you know, figure this out. Um, very readable, great 
Jamie and I <coughs> enjoyed this book. Uh, it's a nice mission connections. So that's our recommendation for the sports statistics. If you have questions about the statistics book before I go on, and to anatomy and physiology. It was pretty much the same. Um, the quality of the books was a little bit uh, more in keeping with each other. They were all, um, you know, around between $120, $180. One we're looking at is $100 and, oh, I have it here, $167, $97. Uh, it was in the middle uh, of them. But it was, all of the books were durable, written by reputable people. But it was all of the books were durable, written by reputable people. The one that we're recommending is written by the person who has the most experience writing a and p and every physiology book particular for high school students, but she also has quite a long history of writing for the collegiate level as well. What's interesting about the book that we're recommending is that it doesn't start at the cellular level, which is a little more foreign to start with your cells, but rather it starts with the skin system because we're all familiar with our skin and how the basic functions of how it works, and then it works in from there. So when you consider starting with a known and something that's relevant, that makes more sense. Um, it was interesting that both books, different, completely different sets of teachers, came with suggestions for books that really thought about the relevancy for the students of the teaching. Um, again, great illustrations. Both of them um, use diverse models, a lot of diversity are involved. The great text. Questions? What do you expect to see <coughs> those in your hands? Um, July. Sometime after July 1st and before August, probably before August 1st, that's the goal, this summer. <laughs> yes, um, the anatomy and physiology books, the teacher materials, and all of the initial, all of the initial setup for the whole AP class. Um, we're looking at $11,600, and for the sports statistics, we're looking at $6,500. Sports statistics will be less expensive for a couple of reasons. One, um, we're going to be getting one classroom set of books as opposed to two. And secondly, A and P has a lot of ancillary materials that will help support the learning of anatomy and physiology with models and dissections and things like that. So we have to wait till June before we see the content of the books? If you would like to see them, I have the I have the statistics book with me tonight and I can have the biology book for you tomorrow. Yeah. I'll make sure that I get them in my office and take them on down. Yeah. You're welcome.
Hearing and seeing none, all those in favor of approving our community education proposal as presented, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Our third item is approval of the first robotics team number 68 out of state field trip to Missouri for the world championships. Move that the Brandon Board of Education approve the first robotics team number 68 out of state field trip to St. Louis, Missouri, April 25th through April 30th, 2017 for the world championships of first as presented. <coughs> Okay. Any discussion on this topic? I'm not selling any speaks to put on a nice email. He's back to any questions. Don't worry about it. Hey, how you doing? Danny, you'd like to talk about it? Sorry, I didn't, even, I didn't see you back there. My one friend was bright now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Next time, wear something bright. Wait, that's all I can see. Uh, it's, a, it's been an exciting year. Um, it's been really great. We, it's the largest team we've ever had. Largest number of girls we've been able to get on the team. So we're actually at 14 girls now, 35 kids in the team, 29 of which from Brandon. Um, it's been really great uh, um, kind of keeping that metal shop up and running, right? And, uh, and, and kind of taking over that wood shop a little bit. And uh, it's been really great. The program has been tremendous. The kids are great. The, we, one highlight of the program would be that uh, we did get some stipends um, for coordinators across K-12. Um, so being able to help fund some people coordinating those programs has been really great. Uh, Chris has been with me on that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's been really great. So continuing to try to bring this program to, to Brandon School District has been great. So thanks again for everything. Well, thank you. You've done a great job. And, uh, we certainly <coughs> appreciate all your enthusiasm and, and activity. And uh, I guess just thank you very much for, for all of your efforts on it. It's been great. Thanks. You look a little tired. Yeah. yeah, you see my newest team member. Yes, yes. Right? yes. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Based on that, all those approval of the first robotics team out of state field trip in Missouri, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? Okay, have a good time on your trip. Thanks. Thank you. we got to make it there first. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Yeah. All right. All right, approval of the Brandon High School STEM program overnight field trip to Grand Rapids, Michigan for the MDOT Design and Build Bridge Competition as presented. I move that the Brandon Board of Education approve the Brandon High School STEM program overnight field trip to Grand Rapids, Michigan, April 17th through 18th, 2017 for the Michigan Department of Transportation Design and Build Bridge Competition as presented. Second. Right. Any discussion on this? Okay. All those in favor of approval of the Brandon High School STEM program overnight field trip, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Approval of the Brandon High School STEM program out of state trip to Maine for the National Bridge Competition. Move that the Brandon Board of Education approve the Brandon High School STEM program out-of-state field trip to Portland, Maine, May 22nd through 25th, 2017 for the National Bridge Competition as presented. Second. Okay. Any discussion about this item? And is this, I just like, this is for sure, for sure, this is only if they make it to a certain level. These are uh, Sarah Preston, Haley Solo, and Kara Berger have all made one of this this is a big oh big this deal. is big because i don't remember when i was saying uh, national so uh it's a big deal so <laughs> congratulations to those ladies yeah so, and they're on your team program. you said well i can probably update you though um i've been working with pauline bamble this year okay and she transitions into the high school quite a bit so um the national competition was very similar to the state one very similar proposal so they submit a proposal and then they get accepted into it there was five teams that they put a proposal in for the national one. Um, they have to pick five out of all those kids, right? But they don't want to let you put in five. Um, and so it, we've always looked at it every year, but we're like, you know what? We're not sure if, we, if we're ready for that yet. So I talked back, I talked Pauline into do it. To go ahead and doing it. And she's excited. What's great about it is the Department of Transportation pays for everything, right? They pay the hotel rooms, they pay absolutely everything. It doesn't cost the district anything. So it's a really great program to be involved in. Awesome. Cool. Great job. All right, thanks.
Well, all those in favor of approving the Brandon High School STEM program trip to Maine for the Nationals, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? All right. Okay, next is the approval of the proposal for sports statistics test textbook adoption. I don't get twisted. Move the Brandon Board of Education approve the proposal to purchase sports statistics textbooks at a cost of $4,473.31 as presented. Support. It's even lower than I thought you said. It is, and you know why? Because we got the original quote um, through Amazon, it was 6500 and when Shelly went back on this past week, the first the board report, came back at less than that, came back at that 4000 amount, and said, awesome. And I hope it's until next week. I hope it's until next week. So I'm not stuck with my car, it's a great You know, so that's the best way. Oh, yeah. We, actually, she was able to reach out to the publisher directly, and they gave us. Uh, I better price it's the Amazon. Okay, so this is really 44.73. It really is. Okay. Yeah, fantastic. And 31 cents. Yes. Well, I would probably have up when they're solid, but that's a good deal. As opposed to down. All right, well, that's good. It's better than what you discussed earlier. Really, so that's great. She knows that's correct. She knows yeah. that's good. Okay, all those in favor of approving the proposal for the sports statistics textbook adoption, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Next is the approval of the proposal for anatomy physiology textbook adoption. <laughs> Move that the Brandon Board of Education approve the proposal to purchase anatomy and physiology textbooks at the cost of $11,590 as presented. Second. Is that the real cost? Well. We sent, sent Maria sent over the actual of uh, the actual cost. So yes, that should be mostly correct. It should be better than the word pocket. Yeah, probably. We're just saying. Yeah. I didn't have a computer. Oh shucks. Oh, you God. want to bring mine to you? No. <laughs> I can share. No. <laughs> We're good. Okay, any discussion? Okay, all those in favor of approving the proposal for anatomy. Physiology textbook adoption, please vote by saying yes. 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 Any opposed? All right. Passes. Citizens input, anything anyone would like to share with the board? Hearing and seeing none, what? I just wanted to. <laughs> 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 what? Jeez. Yes. We just had more good news in that the future problem solvers groups. I believe that every single team all has states. made it to states, and for the first team that was ever created here five years ago, this is their fifth year of going to states, which is not a given whatsoever. So uh, they are, future problem solvers are as excited as ever. It's a fun opportunity to see them uh, light up. And the, the volunteer, Julie Campbell, and Mrs. Trollar, our staff member at the middle schools, who's helping. But I really have to, to give a shout out to Julie Campbell. She is amazing, amazing in her efforts to bring this, these teams along and recruit and do whatever it takes, basically, on a volunteer basis. It's a lot of time, it's a lot of thought, and it's a lot of care. So I applaud her. Awesome. And the teams, they are. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations to them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Anything else? Anyone? Okay. We are looking to go into the closed session for a negotiation discussion. Could I get a motion on that? Yes. Any opposed? Okay, we'll take a five minute break and we'll go into closed session. Thank you very much.